Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I am the Sarcastic Barman, and welcome to my channel. Oh, it's been a long week. We've done a few little bits and bobs, a couple of little mirrors, nice little live stream the other night. All a bit of fun. Oh, all good, though. But now we've got to do a proper video and properly take the fucking piss out of someone and their fucking idiotness. And we found the perfect one. One of the king of the idiots themselves, Eric DeBay. Yes, yes, I know he's a fucking moron, but he's a funny fucking moron. So, let's have a look, shall we? Long before the theory of gravity was a glimmer in Newton's imagination, the natural physics of density and buoyancy already perfectly explained why apples fall down. Did it? Did it really? Because it still didn't take into account what was pulling the things down. What made them move downwards? You say, oh yes, they, they're denser than the air around them. But why go down? Why down? That, that's the biggest question you've got to answer. Why fucking down? And I'm sure I'm going to be saying that line several fucking times through this video. So let's keep going. Quite simply, objects fall or rise based on their relative density to the medium surrounding them. Fall because they are denser than the air. Why? That's all you've got to answer. If you can answer that in this video, it's only a short video, thank God, because otherwise you're going to sound like a broken fucking record. Just why? Why downwards? So, what's that? Second time asking fucking why? Let's keep going. Well, helium balloons rise because they are lighter. No gravity. Necessary. Oh, good God! Right, we're gonna we're gonna have to actually get sciencey now, aren't we? Fuck's sake! Stress my three brain cells or what? Anyway, helium balloons would not rise without gravity. Helium balloons are rising because the air is being pulled down around them. So basically, take ball here. Fist is ball. Ball is filled with helium. Ball goes up because the air around it is being pulled down and the inside of the ball is less dense than the air around it. If the air around it wasn't being pulled down and was just sat there, so would the fucking balloon. It wouldn't rise just because it was less dense. It needs that force acting upon it. For fuck's sake, your buoyancy fucking formulas require fucking gravity. Ugh. Everything seeks its relative density and rises or falls until settling accordingly. And this has absolutely nothing to do with gravity. So you said it has nothing to do with gravity. I say it has everything to do with gravity and displayed here, here, here should be the formula for buoyancy. Hey, look at that. There's a G. Oh, I wonder what that's for. Oh, look, luckily my little table tells you what it is. That'll be fucking gravity then. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Gravity, you fucking retard. Gravity! Have you ever heard of fucking gravity? Gravity! Gravity! Gravity is a hypothetical magnetic like force to help explain the heliocentric theory of the universe. To claim the existence of a physical law without a single practical evidential example is hearsay. Well, I suppose that'd be true apart from there's been numerous experiments, tests, whatever the fuck you want to call them, displaying gravity and how it works, or how we believe it works, I should say. Uh, hopefully scrolling through the screen now is a list of a couple of experiments and a list of a few uh, professors, doctors, I'm not sure what they all were, who have conducted these experiments. So, um, yeah. Moving on. Science. How is it that gravity is so strong that it can hold all the oceans with the people stuck to the underside of the ball earth? But so weak that it allows birds, bugs, and balloons to casually evade its downward pulling force. Uh, it, it's like explaining things to a fucking idiot. Oh wait, you are a fucking idiot. So Birds have got wings. Bugs have got wings. They use these wings to create something called fucking lift. It's not called 
fucking lift. It's just called lift. But you're a fucking idiot, so we thought we'd add the fucking to that. You fucking idiot. I was a bit. Gravity holds our bodies clung to the underside of the ball earth, but yet we can easily walk or jump and feel no such constant downward pulling force. Really? You don't feel a force pulling you back to Earth? Then why haven't you floated off into space? Oh wait, that will be... GRAVITY, YOU FUCKING RETARD! Gravity, both metaphorically and quite literally, just does not hold any water. Not as a sound theory of cosmology, and not as a law supposedly responsible for holding in the world's oceans. Right, we're going to have a facepalm warning here, because what he's about to say is what most fucking of these fucking idiots say, and it doesn't get old anytime soon laughing at them for saying it, because it's fucking, fucking moronic. Well, thank God that was a short fucking video. Christ's sake, flurfers and fucking gravity. The thing that we can demonstrate over and over and over. And if they really wanted, they could do these experiments themselves. If they could disprove gravity, they'd win a fucking Nobel Prize, shitloads of money. Because, let's be fair, science is the profession where they pay you to disprove other scientists to increase knowledge. And if you don't believe me, ask a fucking scientist. They will tell you the exact same thing. They are getting paid to disprove things. Oh, by disproving things, they find out other things. You're, just, you're fucking idiots. You're fucking idiots. Oh, I'm recording this too far in the day. I mean, it's what? Da, 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 da. 20 past two, which means I can't drink. And after doing that, I feel like I need a drink. Fuck's sake. We're going to look at one of his other videos next. This is going to be fucking amusing. But, let's get this one uploaded, let's get it processed, and you can all fucking laugh at it! Yay! Anyway, I am the Sarcastic Bomb, and I hope you enjoyed that rant of crap. Uh, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, all the stuff's down below, you know all that. Uh, don't forget to check out the Shills channel, we do a live stream every Saturday, uh, about quarter past 11 GMT in the evening. Uh, there's a good group of us, we look at a couple of videos, have a bit of a laugh, and generally get together, have a bit of a chat. If you're really enjoying my stuff and want to support me, feel free, buy a t-shirt, uh, or a hoodie, whatever. It should be cool. Uh, yeah, that's all it. Thank you very much, and we'll see you again soon. Good night.